Hello, good people. Welcome back to the Cup Games YouTube channel. Um, might be starting a Warrior Wednesday thing here. We'll see. But uh, we are playing um, Antic's most recent list uh, that he sent me on Discord of the Gear Free deck. Um, we're just playing one Gear Free in the main with uh, a couple copies of uh, Blast with Chain. But we do sideboard into uh, the entire deal with um smoker date and stuff like that so um the idea is you know uh blast with chain is just a very versatile card so we're gonna we're gonna play it in the main just sort of play a, a consistent sort of you know like warrior centric main here um kind of don't care about any of these but i guess i take the blade knight to keep my opponent off of lights here that makes sense to me we can, yeah, we can handle the others in the damage step with Blast with Chain. So yeah, let's just take the Blade Knight. <clears throat> like, we could have, you know, taken the Zombra, um, but then, uh, yeah, the, the opponent still would have been able to set everything. So, I guess there was no way to even uh, strand the Blade Knight from not being able to attack here. It doesn't necessarily send a message that we have something here. Um, opponent doesn't have anything to really do anything about this, but I am just going to go ahead and activate Blast with Chain here. In the damage step, just to, you know, make a habit out of um, activating it in damage step. Because that is the correct time to do it. So the opponent doesn't really want to dust tornado this Blast with Chain. Because uh, it can destroy another card in the field. I guess they could just set Dust Tornado. Well, that doesn't seem amazing to me. Um, let's start the turn. We draw a Trap Dust Shoot, which isn't great. But I imagine they probably set the Torrential too. That makes a whole lot of sense. But we'll get our attack in. <clears throat> um, and then we'll flip this Time Seal. Get rid of the Zombra. Uh, main phase two. Let's let's set this trap dust shoot. Um, is trap dust shoot gonna get more value than a nobleman? Is the question. We don't know if our opponent is like on warrior warrior here. Yeah, let's set dust shoot and let's just flip time seal. And we'll pass the turn from there. Okay, cool. We did pull out the Dust Tornado on a Trap Dust Shoot, so that feels pretty good. Um, we know the opponent has Knock, Torrential, and Kaiku. Um, of course, we can play around the Torrential till the end of time, though... Yeah, we're still just attacking for 18 here. There's no reason to summon out Blade Knight. Um, I will go ahead and set the Knock, though. Uh, just in case the opponent does draw a Trap Dust Shoot, there's no reason to let that... Get online here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, and we have premature burial here. Summon Blade Knight, Premier Kaiku, and we're gonna be going to game two. All right, so looks like we're playing against Warriors. Um, never mind, our opponent doesn't want to play against Blast with Chain. <laughs> so uh, ceremoniously. We will leave this in here because our opponent rage quit, and we'll grab another one. Okay, we've got another one here. I actually had a second rage quit, <laughs> um, but I'm only going to put one in there. Um, I kind of just wanted to leave it in. One, I think the rage quits are funny, uh, and two, it just kind of shows, you know, Blast with Chain's a pretty versatile, just good card. Um it let Kaiku just kind of go nuts. Our opponent had zero outs to it um, as far as creatures. Uh, here we go. We've got Blade Knight. We have our Blast with Chain again. Um, hopefully, I mean, Blade Knight at a 1600 looks, you know, not very powerful. But if our opponent summons, like, eh, I guess Sukiyomi will do it, won't it? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't need to solemn that. 
We're going to lose our Blade Knight. And unfortunately, Blast with Chain doesn't really do anything against that. And the opponent's going to set quite a few back row and then Upstar Goblin. Okay. So it's not like guaranteed our opponent has a solemn judgment here. They could just be matching our back row. Um, they could be like full of Jar of Greeds and stuff like that. Who knows? Um, since we know about the Tsukiyomi, I think I'm just going to summon Dawn. It's a card that they kind of have to deal with. But they can't really use the Tsukiyomi to deal with it. Ooh, are we taking the 14? Hand Shuffle usually means the opponent's taking the damage. <laughs> okay, we get to rip a card out with Dawn. You'd love to see that, and it's the Tsukiyomi, okay. Um, not likely our opponent has another one of those, and hopefully our Blast with Chain can do some stuff here. Opponent hasn't used any of their back row. I wonder, like, they could be setting... Okay, yeah, there's a Jar of Greed. I thought one of them was probably going to be a Jar of Greed. Um, I doubt either of these are Raigeki Break. If I had to guess, okay, our opponent did draw Thunder Dragon this turn. Pretty good for them. I'm going to do the whole setup in the chair thing that I do every single video. Um, into Chaos Sorcerer. Well, I think, I don't think these are anything. Though we know there are two Thunder Dragons in hand. So maybe we just let this go, but... Um, I think I'm going to Solemn Judgment here. I just want to keep up my aggression, mostly. So, we'll keep the Dawn's Alug on the field. Um, if my opponent does draw into a Rageki Break or something later, I would like to get these Thunder Dragons out of hand. Ooh. <laughs> We're going to MST the Blast with Chain? All right. Um, well, we're going to pop this new set so my opponent can't flip it, and it's a Jar of Greed. Beautiful. We're going to pitch Thunder Dragon, and we have BLS. <laughs> oh, we're dead to that? Are you serious? Yeah. That's going to kill us. We're not going to live to be able to mind control it. Okay. Um, I, I, I guess I wasn't supposed to Solemn Judgment the Chaos Sorcerer. Um, we are on the play, so we're gonna we're gonna side in the whole package here, um, which means we're getting rid of these, and we're getting rid of at least two of those. This, um, this, this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get rid of the time seals, dust tornadoes. It's eleven. I need two more. I really want to keep the Kaikus in. I guess we could just cut this and cut the the BLS. That leaves us with 11 mo 10 monsters, which is one fewer than what I want. But, hmm. I could cut Mirror Force. Um, no, my opponent's going to be bringing in like Zombers and stuff. We'll just run it like this. That's fine. All right, let's not get absolutely destroyed by BLS this time. Uh, this hand is not great. So we'll set Mind Crush, set MST. Probably just pass here. If the opponent searches up Thunder Dragons, we could Mind Crush the Thunder Dragons. I don't know if that's really what we want to do. Just set Monster, okay. And a bunch of back row. Okay, well, I'm just going to MST this middle one here. So hitting Sakuretsu is pretty nice. We draw a Gear Freed. Yeah, I think I'm down to just summon Gear Freed. Though I guess I could go get level 2. If I Heavy Storm... How many of those are Jar of Greeds? It's kind of greedy, but <clears throat> I'm going to Heavy Storm and go get my level 2. Yep, one Jar of Greed. It's fine. And a Torrential. Okay. Let's go get our level two. Summon and attack. All right, so we'll take our plus one over a Sukiyomi. Love to see that. Um, we have Moth to get back. You know, Rota, really anything we want here. Um, Gear Freed can attack over Tribe, so that's pretty nice. Oh, we draw a Smoke Grenade, too. 
Very nice. Okay, so summon gear freed. Activate smoke grenade? Okay, sick. Send that to the graveyard. Let me see that hand. We have card destruction, magician of faith. Um, What's in our opponent's graveyard? No spells, but also no light. Well, I guess this is sending it to the graveyard, isn't it? Um, let's, yeah, I guess we get rid of the moth here. Um, because if we get rid of the card destruction, the opponent can just get it back with Magician of Faith, so. Alright, gear freed attack goes through, that's pretty nice. We know the opponent has card destruction and a random face down. It's a jar of greed, okay. Into Graceful Charity, sure. Into Night Assailant, uh-huh. What else we got over there, opponent? It's pretty good seeing it. Double Night Assailant, okay. <laughs> you got it. Oh, boy. That was a that was quite a turnaround there. Oh, they can just pick up Night Assailant, and then they can card destruction, too? Holy shit. Um, well, we're, we're kind of getting dumpstered here. And Chaos Sorcerer? Yeah. All right. This is why... This is why Turbo's the best deck. Oh, they've got a Desert Sunlight. Okay. <laughs> Into Duo. Yeah. All right. I mean... We're getting absolutely just trashed here. Wow. That's uh, that's one of the more impressive turns I think I've ever seen. Or at least in a while. That was... We had the opponent at one card with one face down, and now they, they ended that turn with four cards total, one of which is a Chaos Sorcerer, and they've got two Night Assailants back in hand. And they drew into Spy? Wow. <laughs> All right. I understand, opponent. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. We're very, very dead. <laughs> well, well, we'll get another one for sure. Okay. We've got another one here. Um, <laughs> after being majorly beat down by uh, by Chaos Turbo, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can have a good one. Um... Maybe we get a full match and actually win here. Who knows? Okay, this hand's fine. Uh, the power of Blade Knight. Time Seal Trap Dust Shoot. <laughs> set. Um, yeah, we'll set the call to. Why not? And we'll Trap Dust Shoot our opponent. I, I hate that you can't activate Time Seal. First turn, looks like we are getting rid of a Chaos Sorcerer, and it is Reasoning Gate, and, well, their hand's pretty good. Um, well, it depends on what this Pot of Greed hits, though I guess they do have card destruction as well. So if the Pot of Greed doesn't hit, um, then they can just try to reset their hand. The good news for us is that we get rid of two Monster Gates. Bad news for us is we would lose Snatch Steel. Okay, they're just going to activate here. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so they did lose Double Monster Gate, Metamorphosis, Chaos Sork. Reasoning. Um, I'm going to chain Time Seal. And then I'm going to call eight. So if they hit Jinzo, I still get my time seal. Um, if they hit Crane, that's fine. So I don't know anything in my opponent's hand anymore. Yeah, they do get to draw a card. They don't get to draw a card in their next draw step. Um, need to remember that. Sack it off for a Jinzo? Sure. Our snatch deal's gone, unfortunately. Though, should be a good matchup, um, especially when we get to bring in, like, all of the combo stuff. But we need this Graceful Charity to hit something here. 
I don't know why I have three typed in there. Okay. Okay, so Rhoda gets um, Exiled Force. Uh, I guess we have to discard Blast with Chain. Probably two Blast with Chains, actually. Which is fine. Let's duo first. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Alright, we get rid of Prima. That's very nice. So we don't have to judgment that. And Defusion. Alright, let's Rota for Exiled Force. Take care of this Jinzo, and then we can call back Blade Knight. And protect it from... Whatever, with a Solemn Judgment. Our opponent does not get to draw on their next turn. Go ahead, opponent. No draw for you. I hope those two cards are good. Set card. Probably Scapegoat, which I think I will Solemn Judgment. Yeah. Just get that out of here. Um... Opponent's just gonna go up to two cards, uh, so I wanna I wanna just keep my clock alive. I don't want Scapegoat to sit there while I just have a Blade Knight. Do they, do they have a Monster Gate as their last card? Yeah, and it, and of course they drew like Crane, so like they're gonna hit something big here, man. Okay. Um. Any DD Warrior ladies? No, just a breaker. I guess I have to set that. Um, let's just activate time seal. Pass the turn. Lose our breaker. That's fine. DD Warrior Lady. Alright, let's set Warrior Lady. Pass the turn. Do I have... I do have Light Dark. Can I... I wouldn't mind drawing a BLS now. Mirror Force also acceptable. Um, let's see. Our opponent's out of monster gates, that's for sure. Reasoning. Um, what do you have left in your deck? Seven, six, two fours. I'm just gonna call eight so I don't get got by uh Democ here. That's the biggest threat that's left. If they have a five and like air knight or something, that's fine. We can just mirror force it. And oh, blade knight. Okay, pretty good draw. Hopefully, we can fade one turn from the opponent. Snatch steel. Okay. Sacrifice it for Time Eater? What? <laughs> how is it... How, hold on. How is this card even good? Your opponent skips their next main phase one? I, un, unless there's some weird Yu-Gi-Oh ruling. Um, can't you just go to main phase two? It's unfortunate that I can't Prima here because I'm at 400 life points, but I'm, I'm going to lose to a time eater. I <laughs> think draw. Okay. I mean, the heavy storm draw didn't really matter, but like, Lord. All right. You got me. Um, okay. So what do we not want here? We don't want dust tornadoes. Um, we get rid of these, this, 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 this. I uh, really want to leave in Don's Luke. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We just won't bring in the upstarts, I guess. That seems fine to me. And we may actually just keep in the whole um, combo package here. Um, okay. So we, we drew the con. Actually, this hand's very good. If only we had a Mind Crush. Alright, so let's get our Gear Freed. Summon the Gear Freed. Smoke Grenade. Declare. Um, okay. 
opponent's hand's not very good. We could take the Thunder Dragon, but I don't really think that's where it's at. Probably just take the Snatch Steel, honestly. And then we can just deal with whatever with Solemn Judgment. Yeah, that seems fine to me. We'll set Blast with Chain, set Solemn Judgment, pass the turn. Feeling pretty good here. Um, opponent can thin with Thunder Dragon, no big deal. Um, if they drew a relevant card, of course, we can Solemn it. Um, and then we can, you know, decide what we want to do, either Don's a Luger Kaiku. <clears throat> May go Kaiku first. Do I Solemn this? Yeah, I've got a two-turn clock after that. And I think, I don't know, Kaiku, Kaiku is just strong here. We'll activate Smoke Grenade. And we'll take <clears throat> probably just Metamorphosis here. That way they can't, I don't know, top deck into like Scapegoat into um, Thousand Eyes to... do stuff <laughs> words are hard i guess i don't want to summon kaiku i guess i do need to summon kaiku well i don't care if they get back a thunder dragon right potentially no i'm gonna summon kaiku um and i'm not gonna banish the thunder dragon i don't think and i'm just gonna pass the turn We've got a two-turn clock. We're like, we've got them locked off of Chaos Monsters. Their Snatch Steel's gone. Um, no reason to turn on that uh, Dimension Fusion. Say they draw like a Jinzo or something. Um, we don't really want that to happen because then we just lose on the spot. Reasoning is what they drew. Um, Demox in hand. Let's just call six. I think I can deal with an air knight. I have, um, I have the blast with chain. Yep. So it is air knight. So the opponent's going to lose and they don't know it. <laughs> Beautiful. Damage step. Blast with chain. You have died. And I don't need to ask them if it's okay to go to damage step. I know it is, because I know their hand. I think we've got a reader over there. And I think in game three, um, we're just going to keep the combo stuff in. Um, I think smoke grenade is very good. Uh, I guess the opponent is looking up something. Um, but I think smoke grenade is pretty good here. Uh, mind crush can be pretty good. Um, we'll just we'll just leave all of that stuff in because you know we're we're still leaving in the monsters for the clock and stuff like that. But I guess we could we could potentially swap out like some mind crushers or something like that. Uh, maybe for a couple of more monsters just to make sure we've got you know enough of a clock here. Uh, okay, so the opponent does concede. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got thirteen monsters. We're fine. As far as monsters go, because we did bring in, you know, two King Tiger, two, two Gear Freed, so we're not too far behind on that like, at all. Um, we could bring in Mind Control to deal with Chaos Monsters. Um, I think it's fine. Let's just run it back. Okay, Mind Crush not at its best here, unfortunately. So we don't have a Dust Shoot, and we are getting duoed. Okay, well, they got rid of the Mind Crush. That's fine. I think I'm just going to get rid of Time Seal. Exile Force can take care of whatever monster they want to summon this turn. Torrential Tribute can take care of monsters later. Solemn Judgment is Solemn Judgment. One of the best cards in this matchup, and, like, really almost any matchup, to be honest. All right, so the opponent has Graceful Charity as well. Cool. What else you got? We're discarding Light Dark. Okay, we're just going to go turn one Chaos Monster. I don't like that play at all, if that's what they want to do, but, you know, 
Uh, some reason in gate players decide to get in under the traps. Yeah, we're just going to go turn one Chaos Monster, sure. Okay, and we're going to sack it for Jinzo. We turned Duo Graceful Charity into a minus two. All right. I guess so. I meant to hit Declare there, but just kind of sent the Exile Force to the graveyard. Um, interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting game. So hopefully we can pull this off. Um, obviously the BLS is a little bit of a brick right now. I'm just going to take 16 here. We have cards to attack over Sacred Crane. Obviously the opponent could have a BLS in hand or whatever, but we have Torrential, Solemn Judgment. Of course we draw, you know, Trap Dust Shoot, because why wouldn't we? All right, deck. Help me out, please. What are we sacking for? Blowback Dragon? Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, do, 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 do. I get Judgment. Yeah, I'm just going to Judgment it, I think. We've got Torrential for a follow-up. No need to, <clears throat> to let the opponent potentially get a plus one on us. Um, Blastwood Chain could be useful a little later, but not right now. I wonder if our opponent has Decree. I guess not. They could be waiting for us to act like actually activate a trap. I think I'm going to have to Torrential this. No? What is that? Scapegoat? Could definitely be Scapegoat. Oh, I've got the wrong Art of Ring of Destruction in this deck. That's a travesty. Okay, no play from the opponent. Kaiku's very nice. Kaiku's very nice, actually. Um, but I guess the problem is... Dimension Fusion? <laughs> But I guess, like, Dimension Fusion's already a problem. Yeah, Scapegoat. Okay. Okay, so we'll attack over one of the goats for sure. Um, I'm just going to flip this and draw a step. The opponent goes all the way to main. Okay. So they drew Reasoning, it looks like. Um... Okay. All right. We're going to call eight, and we're going to just deal with uh, whatever else. We do have Blast with Chain. I mean, that should take care of most things here. Meta's fine. We have Ring of Destruction. Um, this is actually the best target for Ring of Destruction here um, while we're at 32. So we don't take any, um, any more damage than we really need to. So just ring up the Thousand Eyes Restrict here. I don't really even care if um, I don't really even care if the opponent card destructions away my BLS. Thunder Dragon, you got it. So we've got card destruction mind control over there. Mind control lets them hit in for sixteen hundred, but that's fine. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Okay, Gear Freed is a card. I don't think there's a reason really to <clears throat> take out the Thunder Dragon here. Other than dealing 200 damage, I don't really care about. I'd rather take my opponent off of being able to activate another Metamorphosis, I think. Um, <clears throat> we've got him cut off a of Chaos Monsters with this Kaiku. I guess they do have mind control for the Kaiku, don't they? Um, Monster Gate. That's fine. Probably going to hit Demok here, but another Thunder Dragon. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Card Destruction. Okay. So we got rid of the Mind Control. <laughs> and we drew Heavy Storm. Not, not the best. But the opponent doesn't have another play. We draw MST. Also not the best. Uh, I guess Snatch Steel's not gone, though. So that's not the worst. Let's attack with Gear Freed. And attack with Kaiku. I guess... Well, no, they actually summoned this Chaos Sorcerer. 
So I think I'm just going to go no activation again. Could have put the opponent to 4,500, but I don't really think that's worth it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, a, that was a really crazy um, back and forth with Reasoning Gate there. Uh, so that was that was cool. Um, so we picked up a win there, but you know what? I'm feeling good. The last video was pretty short. So let's get that mythical third match on the Cub Games YouTube channel. Okay, we've got another one. Um, let's see if we can make it um, two and a third. And one. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Um, this hand's fine. This hand's awful now. <laughs> it's okay. We lose our torrential. Um... I'll probably just lose the Sasuke here. I've got Call of the Haunted if we really need it back. I like Rota because it's a little versatile. Yeah. Yeah, Duo into Pot of Greed is... Um, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good from the opponent. <laughs> All right. Full Trinity. Just ripping it off in a row. Got it. All right. What else you got for me, opponent? I am not scared. <laughs> Got a back row. Uh-huh. What else you got? Come on. Lay it on me. We're going to go turn one Chaos Sorcerer, sack it for Jinzo. Any run backs of Reasoning Gate? And we have card destruction. Okay. Oh, boy. Cyber Jar and Morphing Jar and Thunder Dragon. Did we not discard Thunder Dragon before we activated card destruction? What? What are we... What are we playing against? <laughs> uh... Because, like, if I just... If I saw everything but the Tsukuyomi, I'd think it was Empty Jar or Library or something, but... The Tsukuyomi... <laughs> Oh, we are going to go turn one Chaos Monster. Okay, and it's BLS. All right. Well, I've got Snatch Steel for that. Hopefully this Graceful Charity can draw into a Heavy Storm. Blade Knight. So you know drawing the monster here means the opponent is guaranteed going to Trap Dust Shoot. No? We had Trinity plus Card Destruction, BLS, but we didn't have Trap Dust Shoot. I'm curious. All right, I'll activate Graceful Charity. Um, if we're able to take this BLS, we're doing all right. MST. I kind of want to get rid of Donza Lug, Blade Knight, summon level two, attack, take out a battle trap, MST the other, and then snatch steel. I guess I could get rid of like, Donza Lug's probably pretty good here, right? I guess we could just get rid of like Dust Tornado plus Blade Knight, or we could get rid of Dust Tornado plus Donza Lug. It already has light dark. Yeah, Don's Luke's just a way to to plus. Blade Knight's just a big guy though. But we like we're gonna take this BLS probably. Not not convinced that's right, but you know. When in doubt, get the Blade Knight out. All right, level two attack over your face down. Hopefully, we don't eat a trap. Your 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 Dakoichi dies. Let's you don't you don't draw. Are we in the business of throwing off blind MST? I think we have to. Um, sure. I'm gonna throw off blind MST here. <clears throat> um, obviously, well, I'm targeting. Target the one closest to the deck. <laughs> Is what I'm trying to target here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset dueling book here. Okay, it ends up being a nobleman of cross out. Um, I I'm gonna snatch the BLS now. Um, am I ahead enough? No, I'm not really ahead. But if the opponent has an MST, they use their dust tornado on MST. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, let's just move this to defense. I'm going to keep the BLS. I... No. No, you, you certainly used that Dust Tornado opponent. That's... that's... MST's a legal target. Ah, we're 9700 gaming. Got it. Okay, we're just going to set into the BLS and we're going... <laughs> Oh boy. Alright. Lightning Vortex, yep. Getting the Dekoichi back. Oh, what is happening? Thank god I drew a Blade Knight. Hopefully I can take out this monster here. We'll see. We'll attack over it. Okay. We we'll clear the Moth, which is really nice. Um, we have an answer to Dekoichi, which... They didn't shuffle their hands, so we know this is Dekoichi that's set in front of the Blade Knight. Okay. Right, we'll set our Dust Shoot. Then we'll attack. <clears throat> I guess I could have summoned Donzaluke first, but I guess there's no reason really to run into Torrential Tribute when we know that's a Dekoichi. We're just going to get over it. MST, deal. Mind control. That's probably worth it. If it's a moth, we get back our graceful charity. Um, that's gonna end up being something stupid though, right? <laughs> something like Sinister Serpent, Sangan, whatever. Um nah, no, we can we can save mind control for a, like a chaos monster. Let's just keep attacking. It's oh it's gonna be spy. Okay, it is a serpent. <laughs> Thank god we didn't mind control the serpent. Yeah, you get your Serpent back. Now I guess we do need to summon the Donzalu, right? Um, unfortunately, it still doesn't play around Torrential because, you know, torrential a Sinister Serpent is very inconsequential. Okay, now we can wait. We'll just set the Judgment. Um, come on, Dueling Book. Let me attack here. We'll attack over the monster, and then next turn we can summon Donzalu. Protect from a potential tr Torrential Tribute, um, potential Mirror Force, whatever. Um, I, there, there's no way that's Mirror Force that's down. Our opponent certainly would have activated it. They draw Heavy Storm. Uh, don't want to protect Mind Control that badly. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Yeah, Heavy's good. Spell Shield Type 8. Okay. <clears throat> draw my own Heavy Storm. Right, let's summon the Donzalug. Thank you for 14. Get that last card out of your hand. And, uh, yeah, our opponent opened full Trinity, card destruction, Thunder Dragon, and uh, we're uh, currently up three cards. Cool. Uh, this is some just weird chaos deck. Yeah, you can you can pitch that Thunder Dragon. Uh, <laughs> your, your other Thunder Dragons are gone, opponent. Failing to find is legal in GOAT. So here we are. <laughs> I'm not going to activate Don's Alug. I'm just going to attack you for 1400 This is 32 uh, 5200 400 more. Let's get rid of this BLS. Let's get rid of the Sinister Serpent. And we'll pass the turn. Opponents at 200. We have a Heavy Storm. Um, I think, unless they draw Spy here, I think we're good. You can't summon that. I have a Kaiku on the board, opponent. All right. So... Um, we are on the draw. I think we're just gonna keep it how it is. Maybe we bring in these moths over our opponent. Finished sideboarding very quickly. Um, I guess we'll leave in Dawn. Let's just take out Time Seal. I'm, I'm not a... Not a Time Seal believer, though maybe... <laughs> maybe the Time Seal seems a little better when uh, our opponent's going to squander away a full Trinity advantage. But, you know, 
we'll see. We have Trap Dust Shoot Blade Knight. Pretty good. Pretty good start against the Chaos E deck with Double Jar. Okay, we're going to get Duoed again. Rota's going to go. Um, I honestly may just get rid of Torrential in this hand. But, I don't know. Our opponent's already lower on cards. Yeah, let's get rid of Torrential. I don't... I don't know if that's right, but like I just I just want to be aggressive with this hand, um, and like it looks like Dust Shoot's gonna work out. So we'll summon Blade Knight, set Dust Shoot, set Prima, and attack into what is probably Gravekeeper Spy. Knight Assailant, beautiful. All right, pass the turn, and I'm gonna Dust Shoot you, opponent. Show me your secrets. What you got? I don't really like that Tsukuyomi being over there. Yeah. We'll take the Tsukuyomi. I don't currently have an answer to that. I have an answer to call. Um, I guess if the opponent activates like their Lightning Vortex and discards Sangan, so that's call. I can't really breaker it. <laughs> oh god, that's what's gonna... <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Okay. Yeah, no no light over there for you, but we're down to Chaos Sorcerer, Call of the Haunted. And I don't really want to breaker the Call of the Haunted. I could just bring back Blade Knight. You you can't you just set that card opponent. <clears throat> no, 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 no. You just you just set it this turn. Okay. Pono's a little confused on when they set that call, but they, they certainly set it that turn. Um, oh, they're going to go get a light. What do they get, though? Is the question. I don't know. Like, I have Blade Knight. I can't think of really any light that I that I can get with Sangan that I really care about. Yeah. Like, it's going to be a Moth or something. And that's fine. I have Nobleman of Cross out to deal with that. God, they're going to draw Heavy Storm, but... <clears throat> Hold my damage here, I think. That's it's 2,000. Play 9 is once again 2,000. And, yep, they draw Thunder Dragon. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to get Chaos Sorcerer now. That is the one light that I do care about here. But that is not a light searchable off of Sangan, so <laughs> I think my play was still fine. Um, get some pressure on the opponent. Get rid of Sangan. Oh, I got rid of Sangan. Let's go. Okay. So we know it's a Call of the Haunted, and then we know about Thunder Dragons. We're going to call back the Night Assailant? Okay. Oh, I guess they can tribute it for Thunder Dragon and get me for 1600 Yeah, I don't really care. That's fine. I need an answer to this Chaos Sorcerer. Unfortunately, Gear Free is not one of those. Um, I know they have Thunder Dragon. I think I do need to take out this Thunder Dragon. Like, I can't just, can't just keep taking damage. Um... It takes 200, and we'll pass the turn. What else you got, opponent? Just sacrifice the chaos. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Mind control the gear free. Sure. That's questionable, but all right. At least they didn't snatch steal it, I guess. <laughs> that would have been funny. Okay, we drew our we drew our answer to chaos sorcerer. <clears throat> um. Uh, do we summon it and attack? Probably not. 
though the opponent definitely left in their um their noblemen's we could probably just break her here try to clear the way for it sure i'm i'm, I'm down for that I'm just kind of play the slow game make sure we can get our plays off um we still know okay good play by the opponent uh, yeah we still know it's a thunder dragon in hand so you know barring some big rip here we're probably fine probably just probably gonna go for damage no they go for the gear freed okay i think that's the correct play here Okay, Solemn Judgment's very nice. Now I am just going to set the Warrior Lady. Set the Judgment. Um, yeah, I'll turn it to defense, whatever. If they want to attack the, the Breaker, that's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, put that card back. No, you don't get to Graceful Charity here. I love that they drew a card and then asked if it was okay. Like, no. It's most certainly not okay. All right, we're going to lose the breaker. No big deal. Ooh. Now I kind of just want this DD Warrior Lady to go to the... Oh, well, now I guess it's just free... Well, no, it's not free to attack. I'm at 1,400. We'll just pass the turn. It's the slowest game of my life. Okay. Uh, yep. Get rid of the Chaos Sorcerer. Maybe I was just supposed to attack. Maybe I was a little too conservative there, but I do draw a Sasuke. What say you, opponent? Sasuke's good. All right, attack. Hopefully it's a battle trap so I can just summon BLS. Cool. Cool. Here comes Big Daddy. Banish, banish. Declare, take out your face down. Cool, and we know the last card in hand is Thunder Dragon, but our opponent is going to draw Snatch Steel right here. No, face down, that's fine. Magical Merchant, alright. <clears throat> Pass the turn. What do you got? Chaos Monster? We drew a Chaos Monster? Okay, is it BLS? No, it's just Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, well, I mean, that's that's pretty bad. Obviously. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We've turned it around. So if we attack for 23, the opponent goes to 25. They go up to 35. But if we attack for 28, the opponent goes to 2,000. They go back up to 3,000. So it doesn't make any difference. We'll just attack for 23. No reason to use the Blastwood Chain. All right, opponent, stop drawing well. Um, <laughs> just let us win, please. That's all I ask. All right, face down. You gain a thousand opponent. Um, I mean, we're attacking. Okay. <laughs> all righty then. Why did you lose 1400? You don't. Cyber Jar was certainly. Alright, so they got Morphing Jar and. Dekoichi. Uh, I didn't really look at the others. Um, <clears throat> oh no, I didn't look at the order that they put their monsters in either. <laughs> oh god. Um, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. The monsters are supposed to be randomized. I, I honestly don't remember. I didn't look. I should have taken account of the cards that they put in hand, though. We're just going to attack here with the level 2. Okay, that's the Dekoichi. That's unfortunate. Um, 
just gonna activate pot of greed here I haven't summoned so summon kaiku I'm just not gonna set the heavy storm I guess no that's probably fine I've got dust shoot um yeah if the opponent wants to flip jar that's totally fine with me I know one of the cards that they had was Book of Moon, <laughs> and I I took a glance at the others, but, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, I, I was hoping to activate the Dust Shoot after they flipped Morphing Jar, but opponent decided to just activate MST. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, would have kept better track of what they had had I not been so tired, <laughs> but, you know. Oh, they have a Nobleman? I guess that's fine. It's not really a big deal. They are going to flip Morphing Jar, but... <clears throat> it's fine. We didn't activate Thunder Dragon first? What? Oh, okay, the Thunder Dragons are gone. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, sure. I have a Blast with Chain Down. For combat tricks, my opponent has a Chaos Monster. That's probably BLS, yep. Yep, BLS is fine. I have a Mirror Force. Um, I also have access to, like, Exiled Force. We're going to set the Dawn instead of setting the Morphing Jar. That's fine. And then we're going to knock it. Sure. You got it. And then we're going to banish that. Okay. Yep, I'm going to flip this here Mirror Force. <laughs> okay. Do we still have BLS? We do. Um, activate Dust Tornado here. Hopefully we can just draw BLS and end the game. That would be great. We drew a Moth. Moth's not bad. Oh, uh, no, we don't have BLS. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. It's Graceful Charity. <clears throat> okay, we hit our Judgment. Beautiful. Um, let's just get rid of one of these Moths. And Call of the Haunted's pretty good here, actually. So we can keep the Monsters, though. Uh, we can just get rid of the Moth, right? Like, Moth gets back Graceful Charity, but at this point, we're just uh, we're just on win the game. O'Clock. Let's summon Kaiku and attack. Declare. Let's get rid of BLS because it was summoned and this Chaos Sorcerer was also summoned. <clears throat> Let's get rid of those. Set Judgment. Set Call. Um, do I want to set the Blaster Chain? I guess I don't really need to, right? Yeah, let's just pass the turn. 2300 is going to be big enough to get over anything that they could possibly summon to get rid of this Kaiku. This match has gone on for a lot longer than I thought. Holy crap. And I should still have Exiled Force left in the deck, right? Yep. Okay. Glad I didn't play the Blast with Chain then. Exiled Force, come on down. And that's going to do it. To clear the effect... Get rid of your monster. Send it to the graveyard. And you. Onto the Shadow Realm. Unless you have Karibo. No. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, this is going to be a long video. Um, but it is currently 1.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Uh, this last one was a little, uh, a little iffy on some of the play, but hopefully it was, uh, was entertaining enough with the opponent, you know, having like all of the good cards, all of the Trinity or whatever. Um, and we were, we were still able to get there. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed what's probably going to be a marathon of a video. That's going to be it. We'll be back with the next one.